Hey cheaters, here's a quick tutorial on one of my favorite features, Live Mode. We've just launched Live Mode V2, which allows you to iteratively build any website, tool, presentation, landing page, an entire functional dashboard, and even SaaS products, step by step, like speaking to an engineer. In fact, we built our entire agent's dashboard with the ability to have uh, voice agents, embedded agents that you can email with SMS by asking it to initially generate something that looked like monday.com for um, agent management dashboard and then iteratively adding step by step all the features you see around it. I recommend targeting maybe the riskiest assumption of what you're trying to build like if you're trying to build a chat app we've uh, onboarded users and taught them how to set up like a simple chat app and then make that more robust uh, by adding features step by step. So for example after you install the latest version of our Chrome extension, hit Alt S on any website, and then you can start by saying generate a landing page for whatever your business is. For example, a real estate firm. Live Mode V2 will instantly start generating the website in the back end for you, and it'll start streaming it live. After it generates the website, you'll notice that it instantly publishes it to cheatlayer.com so that you can share it with your team or friends to start getting feedback and iterating it even in parallel. If they install the Cheatlayer Chrome extension, they can actually come to this website and start working on this in parallel and add features just like you do. So next, what you can actually do is you can target any part of the page by clicking any element on the page. And this is a new feature in Live Mode V2 that allows you to specifically edit specific elements in real time live. So let's go over a simple example. Let's just change this header. <clears throat> and then in real time, it will update just that section. And that was it. It's pretty cool. So that was pretty fast. And then that's actually really powerful because you can even add functional tools, images, videos. So let's add a functional tool. Let's select this element. In fact, like I mentioned, we built our entire agents dashboard. So you can integrate any API, build uh, machine learning power tools, you can integrate our upcoming agent forms to embed cheat layer desktop agents directly on any website. And in this case, we're building basically a lead magnet, a, very, a free tool that you can build yourself, or you can uh, imagine any other free tool that you want to build, and it'll iteratively generate it for you live. And you can see each step we've gone through here has all been simple language. I've only asked it to do all of these things in simple language as if I'm speaking to an engineer who basically an engineer and a designer who's building it for me. And this engineer also happens to like know the entire history of modern design, uh, every other product that exists out there. So you can say things like make it look like apple.com or stuff like that. <clears throat> and it, it's, it'll actually basically iteratively build it for you step by step as if you were chatting with your own personal super engineer in your pocket. Okay, and you can see that basically um, every time you add a feature, it'll instantly publish it back to that URL so you can share it with your team to work on this in parallel. So let's test out this uh, lead magnet. Let's put in a home price and let me get rid of this down payment loan terms and interest rate and calculate. And you can see that it actually calculates a real number. This is actually a functional tool. So you can build tools of calculators, lead magnets. U users have built games, actual 2D, 3D games uh, to basically generate traffic for any brand or any business. Uh, in fact, you can even add images and video using Dolly 3 and Stable Diffusion. So you can basically generate any images or any video, whatever your imagination wants. So let's do an example here. <clears throat> and 
let's add an image here to this section. Okay. Add uh, an image of a bear uh, walking through San Francisco. And literally, whatever you imagine, we'll, it'll use Dolly 3D in the back end which is very good in um, generating high quality images as compared to other current image generators and that's why we choose that as the default and then it'll generate the image and place it um, generate the correct HTML to place it into the section that you've selected. So this way you can basically iteratively build any product that you can imagine because you don't have to understand the HTML um, you can actually just tell the designer how you want it to work. You can also tell them to change the copy. Uh, you can give them images to use specific URLs of images, that, like if you have a logo, for example. You can upload that, give it the URL. Cheat Layer Desktop Live Mode additionally allows you to edit the backend. So this allows you to add features like user accounts um, and, and specific features to user accounts. And Oh cool, look at that. <clears throat> <laughs> bear walking through San Francisco. With the update to Live Mode V2 in the extension, you can now also even edit the backend. We've linked a new version of GitHub Vercel backend that if you link your GitHub and Vercel accounts into CheatLayer, it'll instantly save both to GitHub and Vercel. And Vercel publishes, publishes this website basically online with a backend that has user accounts and Stripe subscriptions. So that's another update for Live Mode V2. We'll be publishing another tutorial to show you how to update and iterate backend features to add things like a build something simple like a chat app. But basically you can actually build anything including machine learning powered tools. And one thing we're excited about next is agent forms which allow you to basically embed any custom agent you build using our no code editors and cheat layer desktop on any website. This will be make it very easy for agencies basically to sell um, <clears throat> Uh, agent services for subscriptions. <clears throat> okay, so next I'm going to try and generate a video. Let's just add a video maybe here. Okay. So I've asked it to make a video of robots dancing around a fire uh, with the flames forming the words cheat layer in the sky. And in the back end, what it's going to do is it's going to use Dolly 3 to generate an image. So like we did here, literally generate whatever you want, whatever your imag imagination can think of. And then it'll use that image with stable video, which is another service, which is open source, uh, and generate a video that's about like 25 frames. So generating this video typically takes about five minutes. So while we're doing this, I can show you how to link your GitHub uh, and Vercel accounts. So in GitHub, you want to go to your user settings. And then scroll all the way down and click developer settings at the bottom left in the menu. And then under personal access tokens, do tokens classic and then generate a new token. Uh, we want to go to classic tokens, generate new classic token. Uh, let's call it cheat layer. Oh, there's our new version. Cool. Created the video. That's the video of robots dancing around a fire. <laughs> That's pretty good, and it says cheat layer. So you can see that literally you can generate whatever you want images, videos, functional tools. Users have built actual, we've had like uh, kids build. Um, like uh, board games, 2D and 3D games, have fun with it. Let me know what you guys come up with. Um, and then let's jump back to GitHub and let's just set no expiration <clears throat> and then give it access to the repo and to write packages and that's it. Scroll down and then click generate token. Okay, now we wanna copy this token and then in our agents dashboard at cheatlayer.com, we want to click agent settings and then we want to add our GitHub token. And it'll click a check mark to verify that's worked. And then in GitHub, there's also a Vercel GitHub um, app that we'll need to add. 
And next we'll have to go to Vercel. So let's go to Vercel, go to our Vercel settings, generate um, tokens. Um, actually, I'm going to give it a specific team. Okay. All right, let's take this token and add a Vercel key in our agent's dashboard, paste that in, and that's done. All right, now <clears throat> I'm going to delete these tokens right after this demo anyway, but I'm just going to show you what happens when you generate uh, anything um, with this integration. So let's try and add a feature. Let's say, um, okay, let me change that because that says lorem ipsum. We don't want that. Um, change this to say we are a small startup uh, founded during the pandemic to help people build online businesses. Which is true. And let's do that. <coughs> and so, yeah, you could. Basically change anything you want by selecting it and asking it to update it and it'll do it for you. Pretty cool. However, when we have linked our GitHub in Vercel, you'll notice in your GitHub account, if we go to your repositories, you'll see there's a new entry here. It'll actually save the updates directly to GitHub with a new backend. And this backend adds support for Stripe subscriptions and user accounts. Um, and then in your Vercel account, and open the latest entry and click visit, you'll see that it saved your website there. This was a, a recent update. Cool. In Vercel, if you go to uh, the settings in the dashboard, this allows you to eventually get a domain name, for example, on GoDaddy or Namecheap, and link a real domain name instead of the Vercel randomly generated one. And since this has the ability to give you user accounts and Stripe subscriptions, we'll publish another tutorial after this one showing you how to next edit the backend. So what we've done so far is only edit the landing page. And you can do this to start building your product um, and make it much fancier. This is a quick rough edit. And then next, you can actually build the entire product on the back end using agent forms or any API, any dashboard that you want to build. It, it will be able to build it for you. <coughs> All right, exciting stuff. So next, I'll show you how to do something called live mode in the desktop version, which additionally allows you to edit the back end. So if you download Cheat Layer Desktop, and hit Alt S, you can do the same thing. So for example, let's say generate a landing page for a real state firm. And the difference between live mode in the desktop and in the extension, actually the extension now also allows you to edit backends. So it's a little bit further along than desktop. However, in the desktop version, uh, it hosts the whole backend actually live on your PC. So that's very interesting because you don't have to pay any hosting services to WordPress or Google or anything. It's free. Uh, I mean, it's hosted on your internet, but it's free. And then you can iteratively also uh, generate the backend features. So you can build complex machine learning powered apps if you have like a good graphics card that's hosted on your PC and it'll be instantly live on the internet. Uh, Cheatler Desktop has this Ngrok address uh, in the install installation process, which is explained in the, the quick start guide, which publishes this website live to the internet as well. So as soon as this finishes, it's going to generate. Uh, oh, and there it goes. And now we'll give it a minute to run and host the Flask server. You don't have to know what a Flask server is, but if you do, it is hosting a local Flask server in Windows uh, using that code it just generated. Uh, actually, first it's going to install Flask using Bash. 
because it figured out we needed bash, and it's hosted the server locally. Uh, just give it a second to reload. There it goes. Cool. So you can similarly edit this website step by step, and uh, a cool feature of desktop live mode is it has a state machine, and you can see that you can see this final output says the goal has been accomplished. You can see that the uh, the screen shows an output of a real estate firm. It actually, um, Project Atlas in the, in the desktop uses Atlas One, our own multimodal model that understands the intent and state of the screen, and GPT-4 Vision, which also uh, understands the state of the screen. And basically every step, it has a state machine that checks if the current state matches the goal. And you can see it asks if the goal has been accomplished and it sent a screenshot of the screen and it can see that very clearly the goal has been accomplished and it doesn't need to continue. So this kind of helps you actually build a product because the agent itself is gonna check its work and iterate towards what you wanted, your goal, your intent, which can be a long sentence, several sentences, like a design document, all that, as, as complicated as you want it to be. And it'll iterate until it gets it correct, basically. Uh, this, this takes a lot of the trial and error that you needed to do with the previous live mode um, and it does it for you and uh, but I still basically my general recommendation with live mode is to think of it like you're speaking chatting with an engineer who's building it for you and so every step if an engineer were like if you hired like a freelancer to build something online or an employee on slack and they sent you like an output you would give them feedback so you would say this is what it looks like um, that that worked. This didn't work. Uh, didn't this broke or this isn't what I want? Like this is a stock image. I want a, like an actual image. Um, and then you want to say maybe add like a functional mortgage calculator, and say what you want next. So say what you see and then say what you want next. And iteratively, step by step, you can actually build any complexity of product because this agent has the ability to pull in any open source Python library, including super powerful and complex open source machine learning tools that users are building services now on. And so you can host and build this entire complex image generator tool, for example, that's free because it's run locally on your PC and launch a service on top of that. It's kind of cool. Our North Star metric has always been to help the original people I was mentoring during the pandemic pro bono to build online businesses. And basically, I ended up helping hundreds of people uh, globally, which was quickly overwhelming, one by one, in office hours sessions to teach them how to build basically any product. And that was the in impetus for starting Cheatlayer. We figured we could scale up somehow because many businesses are basically the same with slightly different parameters for a lot of it, like marketing and sales. So we figured we could build agents to solve this problem and our plan next is to basically release a free course to teach users to go from zero to one by starting with live mode v2 you can actually do this with a free account you can download the extension and start building just like i did build the entire product step by step we'll go over an example of using agent forms to deploy a powerful, bleeding edge, valuable agent like our TikTok agent into your backend dashboard and then start selling it using Stripe subscriptions. And then immediately after that, you can use our marketing and sales agents after you go from zero to one to start selling it on autopilot. And so we're our North Star metric has always been to help those original people and we're finally nearing actually solving that or original problem in such an easy way that you'll be able to do this from a phone soon. So, very excited. Thank you guys.